What is up, hiking friends? I'm back at Amicalola Falls State Park to continue hiking the approach trail to the Appalachian Trail. And I want to see how far I can get. Because I'm pretty sure I can go all the way. I think it's only like seven miles now to Springer Mountain and to the first blaze. So, yeah, let's see how far I get. My foot, um, the plantar fasciitis continues to trouble me. But it's definitely, definitely getting better. I think I've finally figured out footwear that doesn't have my heel screaming anymore. I think I tore that plantar fascia and that's why it was so painful. But it's been a long process of just letting it rest and get better. And the key to healing is to not trip and fall or not fall but just to not trip because I've I've had a couple of trips where it just really pulled on that tendon or fascia again and like tore it again and but this might just be my struggle now for the rest of my life because I'm getting old and that's just the way it goes so uh, let's do it. Let's get going and see where we end up. It is a beautiful day. Right now it's sunny and cloudy, like partly cloudy. And up here at the higher elevations, it is actually kind of chilly. So, I really hope I can do this whole thing and get to Springer Mountain. I smell a skunk. If, um, if I manage to reach Springer Mountain and my foot feels okay, I might turn back and just do it as an out and back because um, I'm pretty sure it's only like seven miles to Springer Mountain from the top of the falls. I parked at the top of the falls and another option would be to get to Springer Mountain and try to hitch back to Amicalola Falls State Park and then just hike up the falls to my car um, so we'll see how it goes and well another option if my foot starts to really bother me is to go until it's bothering you know kind of bothering me and just turn around from that point and come back so We'll see how it goes. I'm really hoping that I can do the whole thing today because it's beautiful, the weather's great, and the trail is lovely. And the last time I was here, I was hiking with another hiker that I met on the East Ridge Trail, and she said, from the top of the falls to Springer Mountain is actually quite nice and not that difficult. So let's see how it goes. The blue blaze is for the approach trail and the yellow blaze is for the hike in trail. And it's funny because there was a woman at the parking lot at the top of the falls that just asked me if she could get to the hike in from there. And I was like, I think it's kind of a far trek 
from this parking lot and you have to go further up the hill to actually get to the hike end. And I was right, it's like almost five miles from that parking lot to the hike end. So I'm glad I was able to help her. <laughs> so far the trail is beautiful and smooth and a little bit muddy because we had a ton of rain blow through yesterday. Um, severe thunderstorms and so on and so forth, but I'm hoping that the weather holds out today because if not, I'm gonna get soaking wet and I have no rain gear. <laughs> And I even left my hat in the car because I figured I don't need the shade from my hat because I'm walking in the green tunnel. One of the cool things about the approach trail is there are lots of tent camping sites. So I think it makes it easier for people when they're starting the trail if they're just worn out they can stop and set up their tent and be done for the day or rest or whatever uh, so you can start out as slowly as you need to as long as you're making forward progress and you have enough water, that is key. You have to be able to carry enough water or hike fast enough to reach water sources because it's not the desert, but you definitely can still get dehydrated and experience heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and all of those things. Because um, it's still hot here. It's just not as hot as the Arizona desert. In other news, I am seriously contemplating, thinking, praying about doing the trail in sections instead of through hiking because I think I will be more successful in completing the trail if I do it that way given the injuries that I have had over the last two years I broke my ankle in 2016 and I broke uh, I didn't break anything else um, I tore this fascia in my foot just out on a five mile hike and I'm pretty sure I did it because I hyperextended my foot and I mean through hiking is like this romantic dream and I love that people are able to have the time to through hike the trail uh, it's really cool but I have to tell you that as you watch the people on YouTube move further north, it's exhausting to just keep going day in and day out and, you know, not have a chance to let your body recover. And I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm really torn. As much as I would like to do it all at one time, 
that's not as important to me as just doing the entire trail, hiking all of the trail. And that's, I mean, even that's why I want to hike the, the, um, the approach trail because it's part of the experience. But yeah, I want to hike the entire Appalachian Trail and I want to be able to do it the way I want to do it, which may not be a through hike. I mean, look, my plan was to start in 2019 and here I am in Georgia. So why start then when I can start now? And one of my friends, a good friend of mine, <laughs> she wants to do the whole Appalachian Trail, but she doesn't want to go camping at all. <laughs> she doesn't want a backpack. She doesn't want to get in a hammock or a tent or any of that. She wants to be able to go from checkpoint to checkpoint, from hostel to hostel, and um, do it that way. And I was like, yeah, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You're still on the Appalachian Trail. You're still hiking the Appalachian Trail. You're just not through hiking the Appalachian Trail. And the more I think about it, the more I'm okay with that thought. Like I was saying earlier, there are people that I've been following and they're just, they're getting so tired and it's such a grind. It's a daily grind and honestly I love hiking so much I don't want it to be a daily grind I want it to be amazing and fun and an, an adventure and I want to have the best time on the trail I want to stop and take photos and make these videos and you know so maybe through hiking is not for me or maybe I'll get out here and get to the end of a spot and be like I just want to keep going I'd rather have it be like that like oh hey I'm gonna get on the Appalachian Trail and see how far I can go and as long as it's fun, you know, keep going. Um, I don't know. Another concern that I have, and I think everybody has, especially when you're older, is um, health insurance and leaving careers and jobs. And, you know, I recently went back and started travel nursing again, and that's how I'm here in Georgia. And one of the great things about travel nursing is that those contracts are 13 weeks long. And at the end of every contract, I can take up to 21 days off. I can hike really far in 21 days. And I don't lose my health insurance by doing that and if everything goes well I could hike the entire trail in a two-year period and I'm okay with that so it's funny how we have these notions and these wild ideas and I still love the idea of doing the entire trail and you know 10 years from now when I literally don't have any obligations and I'm done having to work for insurance and those sorts of things I could through hike it then if I so choose. 
There's about a million ways I think you could hike the Appalachian Trail. So, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. Well, and that's the other thing. I don't know what the future holds. My youngest son has now met the girl of his dreams and is, I'm going uphill, can you tell? And is planning, they are planning to get married. Soon, sooner than later. So, my family is more important than hiking the Appalachian Trail. You know, God is the most important, and then my family. And everything else has to be put in its right order. A quick pit stop and some water and some of these chewy strawberry things. to the first place. Springer Mountain. This is momentous. I may be really, really, really excited and happy right now. <laughs> Here is the plaque, the southern terminus, and look. Okay, had some lunch. I had one of those complete cookies and some dried bananas and some water. And I'm headed back the way I came back to my car. And according to my watch, it was only 6.25 miles from my car to Springer Mountain. Which is probably true because it's 8.8 .8 miles back to the very bottom of Amicalola Falls and I parked at the top of Amicalola Falls. So, I don't know. I'm having a great day and only, it did take, it took me like, four hours to get to Springer Mountain. Probably would have only taken three and a half hours, but I stopped to talk to a girl that I met along the way who was going the opposite direction. And then for the last two miles, I was hiking with a fellow named Larry. Had great conversation with him. And he's still back there at Springer Mountain. He's tall. If he comes back this way, it won't take him long to catch me because I am not tall. <laughs> but it's still beautiful and I'm having a wonderful day. My heel is holding out. I've been trying to be very careful with foot placement so that I don't over extend it or over flex it because I think that's why it tore back in May. I just have to be conscious of where I put my feet and it should be okay. I mean, it's, 
it hurts a little but it's not unbearable so that is good news anyway I will see you further down the trail where are you headed how long have you been hiking yeah it is really rough terrain isn't it I agree I think it's behind me, but I don't see the sun anymore. <laughs> Hoping I get there before the skies open up. It doesn't look black or anything. It's just overcast and rumbly, so... I've been booking it for the last couple of miles because it started thundering a while ago. But I'm almost there. So this is Laura. We met earlier today and <laughs> we are almost back to my car and it's raining, yo. And it's thundering. So I'm going to Laura's gonna hop in my car and I'm gonna give her a ride down the mountain to her car so she doesn't get stranded in the rain because that's what friends are for hiking friends trail magic <laughs> there's been a ton I'll tell you yeah it's been a great day but my my theory of the trees acting like an umbrella was true it's raining, but I'm not getting wet. I was praying to God that I would get to my car before the skies open up. And we just got in the car, and guess what? The skies opened up. <laughs> That's it for this hike. I finished the approach trail. It's official, so now I can head north on the AT. Awesome. Woohoo! <laughs>